How much were you paid back when you were an intern? 400 ringgit was just merely to cover the patrols. How much were you paid as an intern? This was the question we asked students from public and private universities and here were some of the answers they gave. Uh, 300 ringgit. What would you spend the 300 ringgit on? I most spent on my transportation fee. 800? I was paid 500 ringgit. I was paid 800 a month. Around 1.5 for 2 months plus internship. Around 400 ringgit just merely to cover the patrols and a little bit of the meal allowance. Around 600, nothing. How can you use for 600? But I think it's learning something. Lah. Look, all we're saying is we even pay our office cat. So, does it even make sense in this day and age for some interns to be unpaid? Nowadays, many interns actually end up getting permanent jobs at the companies they interned at. Which makes it even sadder for those people out there who weren't able to find jobs because they weren't able to do an internship because they couldn't afford to. And so, this is just one of the reasons why the Human Resource Minister, Stephen Sim, recently announced the ministry's practical training incentive, Ilham Kasuma, to help companies pay interns a minimum allowance. Under the Ilham Kasuma program, there are three incentives for companies that take on interns. The first one is a double tax deduction incentive for bigger companies under the National Structured Internship Program or MySIP. The second one is a matching grant of up to 300 ringgit per intern for companies like Chili Sons that don't make money <laughs> via the internship matching grant for SMEs or likes. And finally, the third is a scheme that allows employers who contribute to HRD Corp to claim up to 50% of their levy balance to sponsor the interns under the Industrial Training Scheme or ITS. So with these incentives under Ilham Kasuma, companies should be better able to pay their interns a decent allowance and young people can now take on internships without having to worry too much about whether they can afford it or not. And so here, we also wanted to find out, what do students do they think is a reasonable allowance for an intern? 500 to 800 as a production team. 1.5 to like 2k. 800 to 1k. 1,000 or 1,005. 1,000. At least 800 to 900 because there are also students and they don't have much money. 1,000 ringgits, you know, you should cover the rental room. At least 1.8. That would cover our accommodation, our transportation. Right now, if you're a company trying to look for interns or a student looking for internship opportunities, you can visit the My Next portal by Talent Corp that helps connect interns and employers. But in the meantime, share with us, what were you paid as an intern and what do you think is a reasonable allowance for interns today? Let us know in the comments or replies below and as always, follow us at Chili Sauce for more current issues tambah pedas.